Good afternoon to my fellow engineers. Um, this is going to be the third video in the intermediate pack. Um, we're just going to be uh, using the wine cooler that we made in the last video. Um, and we're just going to stick a handle on it. We're going to put some bolts in it so that the handle can, can stay there. Um, we're going to use that. You're going to use an assembly for that. And then um, I'm uh, then I'm gonna. Um, it's going to be a very short video. Uh, this one, which is good. Um, so the the main changes, just to sum up what's happened um, uh, since you last saw this part. I've obviously changed the color. You probably noticed that um, the way I did that. Obviously, uh, you may remember from from the basics pack that we just go to the material table and change it. And I've changed it to uh, high impact ABS, uh, which is a type of plastic, which I'm I'm sure will be fine. So we've just changed the material to that. And then I've um, uh, copied these ribs around, uh, like so, and I've just rounded the edges. I think that was a um, uh, 30 mil, um, or thir I think that was a 35 mil, and that was a 45 mil. Um, but you can play around with that your own way. One thing that we do need for the um, uh, for to, to put a handle in is we're going to need a hole or something like that to stick uh, this into. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put in a hole uh, into this. So uh, we're not going to use the hole, we're going to use just a cut um, today. And just make it nice and easy. So I'm just going to draw in a very quick construction line. Um, we'll make a 20mm diameter hole. Get rid of that construction line. Okay, and we're going to make it 10 millimeters into the wall. And obviously we need it on both sides, so we're just going to copy it across using the parallel plane that you may remember from last time. I um, have to set that to a midpoint, which is around about here. There you go. And now our holes on the other side, which is brilliant. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to get um, a strap, and we're going to place the strap around this, and then you'd get a bolt on each side, or like in this case, just a bit of plastic, and then you'd stick that in, and a bit of plastic will melt, um, will melt it so that it fuses inside the here, so that the strap is permanently stuck on. You could obviously just screw a bolt in, um, but as I said, bolts are a little bit more complex, and we'll be looking at bolts um, later on. Uh, probably in the advanced pack, we'll be making some bolts and using the engineering reference um, to uh, import some bolts as well. But we're just going to make it nice and simple for now. Um, so we've got this part, this is fine. Um, so this part should now look like this in terms of um, its layout. I said these are the changes that I've made um, previously. Okay, um, so we're just going to go uh, and, and make that strap that's going to go over the top uh, of like here, like so. Yeah, so it'll go from this side to this side over the top. Okay. So um, we need to make a new part um, for our strap because, as I said, with assemblies you import all of your parts and you you stick them together in certain ways. Okay, I'll just uh, double check my dimensions. So we need it to be two hundred and forty millimeters uh, uh, inside thickness of the strap, and we'll make it. A hundred mil hundred millimeters tall, so it comes up to about here. Okay. So uh, remember the way that we do this is we, uh, when we're going to use the sweep command to make the strap. It's going to be very easy, so very very easy strap to make. So we have to make um, a sketch on one plane. So we're going to make a sketch on the XY plane, um, and it's just going to be a very simple uh, rectangle by two points. Um, and we want the strap to be, say, 30 millimeters uh, thick, and uh, we'll say five. We'll say five millimeters um, in kind of width and thickness width sort of thing. And that's uh, that's what we need for our sketch. Okay. Um, and now we need obviously to, a path for it to follow. So we need to go on back onto sketch and choose the ZY plane. And as I said, we use that center point as our um, edge. So we need we needed it to be 240 millimeters in the inside. Let me just check that. Yep, 240 millimeters on the inside, um, and 100 millimeters tall. Yep, 
like so. Okay. Line up like that. Line up like that. We can get rid of this construction line now. Um, and we're going to put in a 40 millimeter um, radius here. So this needs to be 60 millimeters tall. And the same set to be for this side. Okay, um, I'm going to introduce you to a new uh, command now. It's a type of drawing sketch. Um, we want to make this 40 millimeter rear sort of curve here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do a tangent arc. Okay, so if we select the tangent arc, we select where we want the tangent to be from. So we're going to choose from here. Okay, and then it's going to dynamically draw this tangent arc like this. And what we want is a 40 millimeter radius. So we go to 40 millimeters. And then we snap it to there, so it'll be 90 degrees. And we're going to do the same on this side here. Okay, and you may remember from the uh, last video, we um we used this trim. We used this on, uh, in the basic pack. Uh, I can't remember when, but I'm sure we've used it before. But this trim just allows you to cut um, little sections off. So we're going to cut off that end section and that end section and this base as well. So now this shape is going to follow this path. So we can just close that. And just using the uh, sweep, which we've looked at before in um, in the previous video, I think it was another no, the video before that, the very very beginning, um, the first video, the intermediate video. So we're going to do a single path um, and a single cross section, which is yep, that's fine. We're going to choose our path, which is this one, and then we're going to choose our cross section, which is this one here. So that looks that, that's our handle that we're going to be using, which looks absolutely fine. Delicious, in fact. Okay, um, and we'll just get rid of these sketches because this this back line that you can see here. Um, if we just get rid of that sketch, then you don't see the back line, and it's a lot smoother, a lot nicer to look at. Okay, finally, what we need is obviously the hole for the thing to go through. Um, so we're just going to put in a hole. Uh, going to use a, a hole. A hole will only go through um, that thick section, so we need to do a cut so that we don't have to do it twice. And our hole is 20 millimeters tall, so we're going to make a gap 15 millimeters up. So that way, when I put in my um, 20 millimeter radii, uh, sorry, 20 millimeter diameter hole, it's five millimeters from the base, as you can see, um, and it's five millimeters from that side as well. Um, if you'd like me to, I could just. So five millimeters there, and five millimeters there. Lovely. Okay, close that sketch. And we're going to bring it to that very far edge, like so. Lovely. Okay. So this is just a very simple handle. And we're just just going to change this uh, property, this um, material table, um, and we'll probably change it to. Uh, medium impact, it has to be strong but not that strong. Okay, so we'll apply that to the model. Okay, and um, we're going to save this uh, as the handle. So we've got the base there, I've already saved that, that was the red part that you saw at the beginning. And we're just going to save that as handle. Finally, we need to create two bolts that are going to go through. Um, and the way that we can do that is we're just going to make a new part, isometric part. Um, and extrude uh, so 20 millimeter um, diameter um, extrude that out so we need it to be 40 millimeters uh, in length I don't, yeah, sorry, it was um, 15 millimeters in length. Um, okay, and then we're just going to put like a little end on um, 
so that it you know so that it doesn't fall off um, in the other direction as well. So that was four. That was twenty. So we're going to make it uh, thirty, and we'll just make this end five mil thick. And then these parts can be made from. Um, we'll, uh, we'll make these parts from uh, high impact polypropylene because we can. Okay, and we need to save this, and we'll just call this the. I know it's not technically a, uh, a bolt, but we'll call it the bolt. Okay, so now we're just going to open up um, a new assembly and stick all of our parts together. So remember, we we'll do that. Uh, program tutorials, so ledge, intermediate. So this is all of our stuff here. Okay. So we're going to introduce the wine cooler first of all. Okay. So you should recognise that. And you should remember how to do most of this stuff anyway. Um, so we'll just bring in that handle. Got to make our first assignment. So we obviously want this axial assigned to this here. And um, we want the inside of this to be assigned with the outside of this. And by obviously, um, because it's the right length, that side will be assigned with there. And it doesn't matter what. Um, orientation we have it in, but just to make it look a little bit neater, we're gonna have that in uh, parallel with that, like that. Okay, and we're also gonna introduce um, those bolts on either side. Oh, that's gone. Okay, there you go. Align that. That's got a line. That face. That's one bolt. We should shove in a second bolt. Um, and remember, obviously, something like this happens. All you need to do is press that flip command. I'm sure I showed you that in the previous video. Voila, as they say. Okay, so this is now our part. Okay, um, we're going to be using this part in the um, uh, the, the draft file later on, um, and it's very easy to to look at, and it's, it makes a lot of sense. It's very nice, uh, easy to use handle. Um, obviously, well, wine bottles can go in; you can carry it around. Um, if I was thinking clearly, actually, you probably could have made this a little bit longer, and then you could. Um, rotate that round and, and you could do a dynamic change, you can make it a little bit longer and it could definitely go around. Um, which I'll probably, um, I might change that, I'm not sure. Um, but, but at the minute that's absolutely fine um, for what it needs to be. Um, the last thing I, was, I just want to show you is uh, exploding it, um, which is not quite as cool as it sounds. Um, so the way that you, you do that, well basically what it does is it takes um, everything uh, apart but shows you where the alignments are uh, are um, are made. So we need to um, make our uh, exploded view. So the way that we're going to make our exploded view is um, if you just uh, if you can just see up here, we just go along all the way up to tools. Okay, which is the third from the right. If we go to tools here, and then we press E R A, which is the film strip and camera sort of uh, looking thing. And then it will change your uh, your layout a little bit, like so. And basically, what this allows you to do is um, this the ERA. I can't remember what it stands for exactly. I think it's um, explode, render, and animate. Um, in fact, it says explode, render, and animate there, so that's probably probably accurate. Um, but um, we can do loads of loads of cool things in this environment. We can make our um, it's basically there to make our product easier to look at um, and easier to understand. So um, I'll give you a very, very, very quick overview. You can animate something, um, which basically says that if you had um, an engine and you want the pistons to go up and down and you wanted to show how the crankshaft were to integrate with the pistons, you'd actually have it animated so it goes up and down. Um, or you know, if you had a, a cog turning, you could turn a cog and it, could actually, it would actually do those motions for you. Um, you could render using Keyshot, which will allow you to um, basically get like a, a photorealistic image or a much clearer to view image than this 
um, and put it into like a real life situation. And then there's what we're going to do, which is explode it. So um, we, we take parts away and we say, right, this is the situation, this is the relationship, but we're actually just going to, um, uh, but we're just going to see the parts in constituent. And there's, there aren't many parts, so it's really not confusing. But if we use the table, it would probably actually be a bit more confusing because there are loads of parts with that. There's only four here and two of them are the same part. So um, the way we're going to do this is the easiest way we're going to do this is just we're going to click auto explode here. Um, top level assembly. Um, so that basically just says uh, this whole thing uh, is just one assembly. If you had an engine, for example, you'd have the engine would be one assembly, but each piston could be a different assembly because you've obviously got the, the the moving components inside the piston, and the fixed components inside the system. Then you've got the cams, and you've got the pulleys, and you've got all sorts of intricate details. So, um, and that's like an assembly within a, within an assembly. So you could decide what part you actually wanted to explode. Um, for us, because it's a very simple assembly, we're just going to do a top level assembly, which basically just says blow everything up um, and auto explode it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It basically says, right, this uh, this hole goes into here. This is what this is what's happened. This is what's moved. Uh, this section has slid along here in this amount, and this section has slid along here. Um, so we can obviously change parts of that. We can say uh, we don't want that to be so far along. We can say we want that instead to be um, you know, uh, 200 mil. So you know, it's, it's intersecting because obviously this whole thing's 240 mil wide. So actually, if we make that 260 mil, it will stand out from the end. And then we can compress it um, uh, physically, uh, like so. Let's make that 140 as well. Okay, so that's one explosion does. And it basically just says this is where all the parts go, and it shows you how you stick it together. So it's really useful to send to a manufacturer um, and say, right, these are all the parts that you should have. Now stick it together in this order, and that works really, really nicely.